That was Matt Prater, a football outsider version of him. He's 92 overall, and he does have some range. Here comes Tweed. He's going to try to spin back right there. He does a good spin move on that special team. So kind of steer your defense one way and then try to spin the other and cut it back. It's a move we've seen him consistently use all season long. First and 10. Tweed's trailing by a field goal here early. Be interested to see what Dubby brings to the table against Tweed's unique West Coast up off version of this West Coast offense. Tweez is number two in the league thus far in points, 25.6. The other thing that's interesting about the Tweez W matchup is he's got Tweez has the number one passing offense so far this season in all of Ultimate League. But he's going up against Dubby, who, you know, despite his two and three records, still has the number two pass defense out of everybody so far in the Ultimate League. Be interesting to see who can impose their will. So second and 10 at the 21. And that's the thing about Tweez. He sort of lulls you to sleep with the running game. The next thing you know, he's going up top for a bomb. Yeah, he does so good at sticking to his game plan, throwing these low throws, checking down when he needs to, running the ball consistently. Watch the playmaker. Wow! And Hill lays out. Yeah, let's go. I feel you, Tweez. Watching like we talked about, rolls out and throws an absolute dime to Tyreek Hill, who sells out. Life on the line type animation, that's a big play. Another dot. Has him again, and this is Ted Ginn this time to the 14, so back to back. Dippity dots for Tweez. And the thing I like about Tweez's offense is he likes to run the ball out of the strong close, but out of all the competitors, he seems the most comfortable passing the ball out of the formation that he likes to primarily run the ball out of. And that makes it really hard to adjust as you see Henry right up the middle. And the young Grizzly showing some emotion, Scott. That was a big drive and way to respond by Tweez. Two big passes and then Henry caps off the drive. Tweez now leads seven to three. Just took a minute and nine seconds. Four plays to go 78 yards. Like I'm talking about, when you can pass the ball efficiently out of those heavy run type sets, it's really going to keep your opponent off balance. Tweeds has done a great job of that all season long so far. Take that replay again. Off tackle, cuts it back inside, takes what the defense gives him. Got the emotion. 20 year old Trey Horn from New Orleans, Louisiana. Got a great block there on the end of that run. Now Dubby's got to respond. Hands it off to Henry. Let's go ahead and get a game break. Heard us chirping about his offense, so he said, you know what, I'm going to go over the top on problem for a big touchdown. Offense problem solved. That's right, seven nothing, just over a minute left in the first quarter. Problem has the best record in the league going up against the player with the worst record in the league. That's a big game for chaos. I mean, if there's anybody you can get a win over to turn your season around and get some confidence. I'm not, problem, trying to, right? I'm not trying to say if you lose that one, it's over. But if you lose that one, it's over. 0-6 oh is that, not where you want to be. That can't be a, a good feeling if you, no. you know, you're in a do-or-die situation going up against problem. Chaos looking responded early, as you saw in that highlight. We'll keep our eye on that game. Take a look at this again here on first down. Right to the 40. Comes W with Vic. Tripped up at the 31. That's going to be just shy of the first down. But he's back into field goal range. W in this patented West Coast offense, the scummy bunch. Kicked a 54 yarder on his last drive. Vic gets loose. And he'll head out of bounds at the 23. 
that big halfback outplay. You see that pre, one thing you gotta pay attention to, when we go back to the play call screen and it's there, that previous play menu in the bottom corner of your screen, that's gonna tell you what offense to play and what defense to play. The players ran on that previous play. It's a, it's a lot of good intel. The interesting thing right now is Tweez is not spying Vic. So, and you know what? Sometimes you just want to make your opponent feel like that's there, they're comfortable with it, and then you take it away later in the game, throw them off, or you feel good about making the play yourself. And Henry making plays in there for six, and Dubby retakes the lead. Gonna be up by a field goal. Big drive from Dubby. He's just so much more calm than we're used to seeing him. I'm used to a Dubby that scores a touchdown. He starts flexing at the camera, starts showing some emotion. Maybe he just left it all out there when the Eagles won that Super Bowl. He's got nothing, <laughs> nothing left. So I'm saying when your boys lift the Lombardi Trophy, you got yourself a belt and a boot, you're feeling pretty chill. Maybe you just need someone to disrespect Rocky or something to wake him up a little bit. It's one thing Rubby Dubby doesn't tolerate. You disrespect Rocky, it's on. First and ten. Low throw. Gonna bring up a second down. Three for three with Deshaun Watson for 72 yards of tweets. Rocky's got to be one of the most fantastic films series of all. Well, Rocky IV is the it's the pinnacle. I'm telling you, I was getting out of bed. We got early days here. I didn't want to get out of bed, but all my TV was the end of Rocky II. You see him in there against Apollo. Come on. I was up and ready to go after that. At the end of the first, 10 to 7, or maybe I should say at the end of round one, 7 nothing lead for chaos over problem. So two good games here at the conclusion of one. Start of the second quarter, let's check in on problem and chaos. Chaos with a 7-0 lead after the long bomb over the number one player in the league thus far, Problem, who's only lost one game. Yeah, I mean, Problem at 4-1, and one, Chaos at 0-5. Oh you got to think, Problem, I don't know how close he is to clinching that bye, but he, he's got to be a couple more wins there, getting pretty close to at least clinching that playoff berth. <laughs> Be a nice breath of fresh air for him. We got Donnie Moore in the building. We'll, we'll know when someone clinches for sure. Yeah, Donnie doesn't mess around when it comes to that stuff. Donnie, our stats guru, is a back running numbers at all times. Fourth and 11. Did get into field goal range here, so he's going to try a 50 yarder. Benetari. <laughs> Money. Up and it is good. That'll make it seven to three with 439 to go here in the second quarter. Problem is so smart. That focus kicker ability is just a staple in his lineup year after year so far since the MCS area. He is not messing around with those field goals. He wants them to be as easy as possible on the main stage. Let's go over to Tweez and Dubby. It's a 10-7 game. Tweez with the ball at the 42. Trying to get in field goal range. Tie it up or take the lead with a score. Tweez, and he just, he loves to chew that clock on. Huh? Quick hike at the line of scrimmage. I was never a fan of doing this. I need time to make adjustments at the line of scrimmage, but not the case for Tweez. Turn the true clock off. You see that tempo on the bottom left of the play call screen. He's kind of a no nonsense player anyway, you know? You get to the line, but you're, the, the question is if you chew clock, you almost know a run's coming. Yeah, it's a That's good kind point. of like his tell right now. That's a it's good a, tell. A, you got to pay attention though. He couldn't right when you think that though. <laughs> Tweeds is type Go of up catching, top. Going up top. Catch you off guard. And that's what we were talking about earlier. He's, 
He's in this run type formation, but he's shown the ability to pass very well out of this strong close formation. And when you can do that, it's a very good game plan because it just keeps your opponent so off balance. In field goal range here on third and one for the 33. Got to watch out. He's going to pass here. Play action going up. Got it. And knocked away by Dubby. Clicked on to Ronnie Lott and made a play. He's going to go for this. That, you'll see Madden players do that often in those third and one type situations, second and one, when your opponent brings out the run defense. This is where you try to go up top, catch him off guard. Tweez almost had him. He's going for it. This is big. Let's go. Oh, awkward oh, oh, oh. throw. And you saw the user swat once again by Dubby. Yeah, I would like to see that replay if we get a chance. That's good stick work by Dubby to click on, get the swat on fourth down. And now it's weird. Tweez goes for it. Look at this. Throws it. You see Dubby click on, press that X button. That was nasty. High level stuff by Dub. That was big for Tweez. He could have tied the ball game. Instead gets greedy and Dubby makes a huge play and then follows it up with a dot trick. We get tweets all the time about, I can't stop the low throw. Well, hey, click on and make a play. Yeah. And that's what, when you talk about to these top level players like the Michael Skimbo or a joke, they'll tell you that same thing. Hey, these guys complain about it, but hey, I can click on and make plays. First and 10. I'm not saying it's easy. It's always cool to hear the perspective from the, uh, that's one of the cool things that we get to do is we get that perspective from the top level type players. So, you know, when they give you feedback on their strategy or things in the game, it's really cool because, you know, they put in the time and effort into really understand it, lab practice on what works, what doesn't work. One of my favorite parts of the job, getting to spend time with those guys and pick their brains on stuff like that. W will take it to the two minute warning. Leading by three, ball at the 27. And he's the kind of guy that can chew up this clock unless Tweez decides to step in with a few of those timeouts. Yeah, if you had all these check boxes of strengths and weaknesses, clock management is definitely in the strength column for W. Very good and very strong aspect of his game. Rolling, and he will just throw it away. Almost surprised he didn't maybe try to scramble, even if it was for no gain, just to keep the clock on the move. I think Dubby's main concern right now, more so than the clock or anything else, though, is finding a way to turn this into a touchdown and get two possessions. So I'm telling you, when you're up three in these situations early in the game, this is a good time to get a little bit aggressive, take some chances, high risk, high reward type stuff, where you can make it two possessions and start to pull away with the game. Running with Henry. You saw that M come up on the screen pre-snap. And that's Dubby identifying the mic. Yes, it's a new feature in Madden 18. And it's exactly what you say. When you move that M during pre-play onto a certain player and press the A button and you ID him as the mic, that's just going to ensure that your blockers pay extra close attention to him and pick him up. Oh, Dubby! And Vic gets loose. Welcome to the Michael Vick experiment. And Dubby does a little dance after the big scramble with Vick. Says he constantly has Drake in his headphones. And I say experiment because you saw with Drini, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. It takes a special player to harness the power of Mike Vick. Dubby right there sh showing you the powers of Mike Vick with the big touchdown run, goes up two possessions. Tweez now has a minute and 27 in this half to respond, trying to make it a one possession ball game. Has all three timeouts. Look at this again, 32 yard run for Vic. Ooh, that's a good scramble, good stick work. Got two key blocks as well. All around good play by Dubby and look at him vibing. One of the more popular Madden players we have. You, you go on Twitter, his fans are showing support. They're always shouting them out, going in the streams, buying that needed gear. And you gotta respect Dubby. He's taking his personalities, marketing it himself, and I have a feeling we'll see him around the scene for a long time. First and 10. Underneath the Henry, got some room. 
Picks up the first down out at the 44 in plus territory. Clock's ticking under a minute left. He still has all three of his timeouts, but he doesn't want to use them. He's going to let that clock tick. He needs to have some sort of sense of urgency here, though. Number Tweez gets the ball to start the second half, so you can double dip the chip. That's B. No. That's oh, Lofty. No. Come on. And Amos picks it off. Had B wide open, and he lollipopped it. I didn't know whether to catch it or shoot it down. Yeah, your boy, this is your boy from Clemson right here, Watson. But you saw him, he scrambles back about 10 to 15 yards, and then you see it, he throws it under pressure. And that's going to increase your chances at an inaccurate throw, and that's what happened there to the young Grizzly, and Dubby capitalizes. Could have at least got three. But now Dubby's going to go to work. And Hester not able to get by Harrison Smith and haul it in. Harrison Smith there playing a little cornerback. We told you W would do that. Take that strong safety, move him around to the outside, help with those outside runs that Tweez likes to do. Harrison Smith versus will do enough to do that. Vic into the flat. Henry will pick up the first down. Let's get an update. An upset brewing over here. Chaos able to get his second offensive touchdown of the game here, Rico, to go up 13-3. The winds of change are blowing, but wait! Old Chaos. That's right, there it is, the block kick on the extra point. However, after this play, Chaos intercepted problem. Again, he is driving on the GOAT as we speak. 30 seconds left. 21 seconds over here in a 10-point game. Boy, Chaos is coming out of nowhere. I'm taking it to prob. You got to give him that respect to be 0-5 down in the dumps, get put into a trap game against problem where your season's on the line and to keep it together and show out. You got to give that young man some respect. It turned out the trap game is actually for problem. Thought he had a cupcake. Let's go. He's in a fight over there. First and 10 here at the 46. Still has a timeout. Vic checks it down to Hester, can get out of bounds at the 40. He has Prater, Super who play. kicked a 54-yarder with ease. So he needs about a yard or two. Yeah, this is a big one for W. He needs to pick up some yards to get into field goal range, like he said. He's going to throw it. Scramble with Vic. with Vic, and that'll be worth three points. Timeout, and he'll kick it. We have seen Tweez block kicks before, so if W doesn't kick this perfectly, he needs to be careful to not let Tweez get that block. Oh, Tweez not even going for the block. Kick is up, and it is good. Right down the middle. And it's 20 to 7 between Dubby and Tweez. And in our other game, Chaos got a field goal, so it's 16 to three with four seconds left in the first half. Problem looking concerned. So plenty of time left in this game, though. The chaos, you got to stay on your toes. You know, problem's not going to give up. He's going to fight to the very end. Take a sack at the end of the half in chaos. Who's been struggling. Has a lead here at the half, 16 to three. Dubby up 13 over Tweez. Start of the third quarter here between chaos and problem. Problem's going to start with the football. And how about chaos finally putting up some points? He was only averaging 11 points a game coming into this one. 11. Well, this is a big game for chaos. I mean, at 0 and 5, and this is the first ever Ultimate League, first time we've had a big Madden season like this. And you don't want to pull the Cleveland Browns or Detroit Lions and come away with the donut in your season. So. 
Chaos fully aware of that. Just didn't think if he was going to be able to pull out a W. The problem came in with the number problem. two scoring defense here in the Legend Conference. But he al actually also has the number seven out of eight pass defense. And Chaos has really hurt him through the air. Problem going to work. Throws it into coverage. And Bo can't hang on. Here you go. This is where, if you're Chaos, you can get all kinds of momentum. If you can open up this first half, get yourself a stop against the greatest Madden player of all time problem. You have all kinds of momentum. But on the other hand, the problem can come here, get on his horse, and make there the moves and turn Henry. it into a ball game. You're going to be feeling all kinds of pressure. And that's odd animal behavior, but the goat was on his horse, and he's in for six. And we got ourselves a ball game here. How will Kent Oslander, a.k.a. Chaos, respond? Feeling good going into the half with a big lead, and just like that, erased. I mean, and you're dealing with problem when we talked about it. He's not going to give up. He's not going to lay down. He's going to play hard until that clock hits zero. <coughs> we got ourselves a good ball game going on here. Be interesting to see what Chaos can do on this offensive possession as you see the GOAT get on his horse after the user truck. And if you've been watching this season of Ultimate League and you haven't go gone and tried that Derrick Henry and ultimate team yet, you're doing it wrong. First and 10 from the 25. How will Chaos respond to the opening score by Problem to start half number two? Big hit right there by Problem. See Problem here, he's four and one in the division. True Musaf and Dubby. That bottom of that division is tight. It's one yeah. of the tougher divisions in all of the Ultimate League. Uh, for sure. Second and eight. And Mary Gota finds Ingram out at the 48. First down, Chaos. He's 12 of 13 for 193 yards. Problem's got to lock up against the pass. Yeah, for Chaos, just slanging this rock, comfortable in the gun trips, tight end. And this is a big few yards that he needs to get right here, up six. Needs to get himself in field goal range to make it two possessions. Problem well aware of that. He's going to try to turn up on defense right here. Watch for Paul Richardson here on the drag. That's where he goes and he drops it. I think Problem was watching for it. He can't hear you, can he? No, he can't hear me, <laughs> but he's only allowing 19.2 points per game this season. That's the second fewest overall here in the Legend Conference. So he's been stingy, and that's how he's always in the game. Yeah, and here you go right now. You see that defensive play art? Look at that. You're seeing the game right now from problems perspectives. Chaos cannot see that play art. And I love when they do that. When we get this, that's one of my favorite things about calling these games is sometimes we get the offensive player's perspective, sometimes we get the defensive player's perspective. But when we can see their play art, it really gives us a chance to step into the mind of these players. I mean, look at that custom defense by problem. He's got cover two on one side of the field. Man up on the halfback on the other. A man up blitz on the other side, and then he's just trying to take away two wide receivers himself. And the only thing you forgot Yo, about is the quarterback Yo. who... Oh my gosh, what is going on? I'm not saying, did, did Mariota pull a hammy? What happened there? It looked like he slowed down. It looked like Chaos went to pull, press that RB hey, button to bro. cover up the ball. And in the process, Mariota, Mariota kind of just stops and stutters for a minute. And I feel you, Chaos. That's not, that's not cool, Mariota. I'm going up against the GOAT right now. My back's against the wall. He's trying to storm back. Are you going to stutter on me? Go, it's not man. a good look if the GOAT responds. I have a first down. Walking. 
play a lot of MMOs. You can hit the slash button to walk around, but I don't think that's available in Madden. First and 10. I didn't even know you could walk. I've been running like an idiot. It was odd behavior. And that an unopportune time for chaos. We talked about it. He needed to get that first down, get himself in field goal position to make it two possessions. And now here comes problem on the comeback. Not something you want to deal with in competitive matter. It's not any fun. No. Let's get a quick update. Well, guys, this is a huge game for W trying to get back into that division. Starts it off with a nice user pick right there, and then Rico, he follows up by putting points on the board. W knew he needed to win this game, and he has pulled out all the stops, including the excellent stick work. 27-7, just under two minutes left in the third. And yeah, Tweez has got on those Jordan 12s, and when the, when the water starts rising, you might want to switch to like a boot or a goulash. Or... Are you implicating that Tweez might need to get the float? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get the floaty prop out. I'm not sure if he's used to the deep end. It's 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 getting deep over there. I know Rico carries around some floaties every now and then. He's, he's got to have them around somewhere. Six point game. Problem. Trying to take the lead. Chaos does a nice job on defense there. Ten carries though for 119 yards. Even I know that's 11.9 a carry. Let's go, fellas. We got four down. Let's go. Second and ten. Good hit. There's a big hit. Chaos. Anthony Barr, let's get a game update. Well, guys, Rico is inflating the floaties as we speak because this is another interception by Dubby, and he's going to go ahead and take this thing back to the crib. Fly, Eagles, fly. <laughs> it's 34 to 7, just over a minute left in the third. It's getting ugly over here. A three-hour tour, a three-hour tour. Tweez and the Gilligan are lost. Go, got two comments. I, I feel like it's a big fourth down coming up for problems. That talk, that skimble must have gave W about, hey, you, you need to start focusing and getting hungry. Be one of those hungry dogs again. I think W took it to heart. Secondly, I am fed up with that fly, Eagles fly, Chan. I had to hear it all throughout the Super Bowl. <laughs> And as a Patriot, it's hard to counteract the other fans when they're in sync with their own <laughs> chant, and you're just yelling. Line, line, line. That chant was hell. Patriots fans, we need to come up with our own chant. RG officially triggered. Big play! And that was Atwater. Got to be out of position. The chaos, like he says, you see him, he got stuck on his D tackle. That's the worst thing you can do in a fourth and 15 situation. It's an amateur mistake, but it happens to the best of us. In those fourth down situations, you need to be on your linebacker, Scott, that you want to use your control to take away the route. You can't get caught clicking on your DT. That's what happened to Chaos right there. And you can just sniff the problem comeback from a mile away right now, unless Chaos can make a big play happen. As he's busy, you know, talking to himself. And Getting a bit in his feelings, problems focused, doing what he does. So here comes a big play. Chaos part of that Dot City gaming crew. Third and two. Problem representing luminosity. Big third and two here, Coltrane. I think this could be two down territory for the GOAT. Drops back to Mariota, has time, has a pocket. Go! Try to get loose and couldn't. That's going to back up two, and I, he's going to kick to Fig Newton. Yeah. I thought it could be two down territory. Maybe he's going to take it to the fourth. Nope. Take the field goal, and you know what it is. It's he knows how much trouble Chaos has been having on offense, and now he's going to rely on that stingy problem defense to get himself back in this game in the fourth quarter. 16 to 13 between Chaos and Problem. At the end of the third. And problems trying to fight back. Chaos got up to a big lead. And let's switch. Let's switch over. We got one second here. It's 34 to 7. Can Tweez go up top? Can young Watson swim? 
That'll end the quarter there. 34 to 7. Twees gonna need more than Madden Magic. Some some wizardry there in the fourth. So at the end of three, Dubby 34 to 7 over Twees. Chaos, a surprising three-point lead heading into the fourth. Heading into the fourth quarter, Chaos with a three-point lead over Problem. Problem just kicked a field goal to bring himself within three in the closing seconds of the third. And so Problem will kick off the Chaos five minutes to see if we can have the biggest upset in the Ultimate League thus far. Yeah. You, gotta, you gotta feel like this, this drive right here could be a defining moment in Chaos' season. Currently winless, had the big lead against Problem, could get himself all kinds of momentum with a win here. The problem on the verge of a prolific comeback. Chaos could really help prevent that with a scoring drive here. Look at that defense by Problem. Let's go! What a the lob! Chaos has got some space. Why is it? No, it stopped again. Can I get a new controller? They might need to look at that uh, controller. Yeah, he needs to pause the game. If you're Chaos it, it, and you're worried oh, about any type of equipment or anything like this, you need to pause the game and get the ref over there. You, and you see it. There's it, something the awkward there. Slow down right there. There's something awkward. You've been, you been throwing that thing around? Yeah, get the man a new controller. You see Justin Chow on the case. There's. All right, so a quick changeover. Justin Chow, our admin, and apparently used to work on a NASCAR pit crew. Get in there and make the change quickly. Chaos is back at, on the track. Oh, that's got to be frustrating if you're Chaos. You had that crispy dot just bonded over the middle. Try to get on your horse for six. The receiver slows down. Looks like they got him situated with a new controller here. Let's see what he can do. I mean, once, once is okay. Maybe something weird happened. Twice is like, okay, guys, something, something's up. Yeah, yeah, and I feel. I mean, he, he did the right thing. You got to pause the game. You call over to admin. You let them take over from there. So you, as you see, chaos, chaos play art right now. Right now, you're seeing the game from his point of view. This gun trips tight end formation. And he'll get out of bounds. Can I have another real talk with you? You're playing for a hundred thousand dollars. The controller's like sixty bucks. Most of these guys bring their own equipment, and you just saw why. Good point. Third down. Well, pro problems got his. You see chaos. That, that's the. That's out of the that box. Provide, but if you if you got a shot at problems hands, you'd see he's got his luminosity blue controller that he brought with him. Over here to the tournament. I'm not trying to throw there. shade. I'm not trying to make any excuses. I'm just saying control as many things as you can, pun intended. No, it's a very good point. And, you know, you're playing for big money on the biggest stage. You want to be as comfortable as possible. And if it's me, I'm bringing my own stick. Yeah, I'm, I'm bringing the elite controller from the house. I need that heavy weight. The baby controller that spot me? That's you. <laughs> That's you. I got that. I'm I, I carry around a man controller. Hey, that, that small control is pretty tough. You and Spotman are playing with Fisher Price, my first controller. The kick is up and it's good. Just to be clear, I got the elite controller too. Sure. We play a lot of games together, Madden, FIFA. I haven't seen you in the Fortnite world yet, but I'll find you. We're kind of hell in FIFA club. <laughs> we, we are pretty tough, I'll be honest with you. Six point game after the field goal. Working to the 24-yard line. This would be a cool. This is a cool drive right here to watch. I, I love these situations right now. This is what the Ultimate League's all about. Chaos trying to sniff his first win of the season. Check, check, check. Make the huge upset against Problem. Problem looking for the vintage GOAT comeback. Stretch it outside, Henry. 
good hit. Will limit him to one yard. And, and this win here will continue to allow problems to have the best record so far in the ultimate league. Rashad Jones on the tackle. He's a secure tackler, and that's why Henry went nowhere. Go back, come on! And Derek Henry missed a block. He was in pass pro here, and he just wimble. whips it. You see that red star. Anytime you see a red star underneath one of those players, that's one of your top three players. Chaos. Sending the dog. Good swim move. Gets it to Warfield. Warfield tries to make a move, and all of a sudden, you're starting to get really concerned for problems. He's three of eight passing with an interception. So it's going to be a big play right here. This is not his game. Big play right here for the goal. I will say, Chaos's game pace has been much improved this game. Look at that. Looks more focused. Usually he has that worried look. Right there, he looks focused. Like his game pace. There you go, Ken Oslander. I've already thrown enough shade. I'm just going to move on to the next play. Fourth and 11 at the 23. Chaos, 22 years old, basketball player, former player on Maryland. Yeah, now Coppin State, the Eagles. Juan Dixon, his coach, former Maryland great. Right there in the heart of Baltimore. Fourth and 11. Let's go! Come on! <laughs> there you go, Chaos. Show a little bit of spunk this season. And why not? Currently up six against the best Madden player of all time. Let's see the defense here. We're on the defensive side of the ball for problem. And he's just an all-out man blitz right now. Can hold him to three here. Still have an opportunity to drive down and score and get the two-point conversion. And problem switched up his entire defensive strategy and personnel for chaos. We're usually seeing problem in that nickel three three five. You see him running the dollar type defense here. It's wide open, and this one might be over. And that's the problem. Look at the emotion of chaos. But that's the problem with the dollar defenses. It's more for a pass-heavy type attack. I think problem thinking chaos in this gun trips tight end. He's going to be slanging the rock, but he loves that inside zone. He got busy with it right there. Going for two. And he'll get it. And if you just got an upset alert on your phone, that's because chaos is up by two touchdowns over problem. Maybe the new controller could be the start of something special for chaos. Still saying you got to bring your own. It's kind of like when you go bowling. I don't want to put those shoes on. Run good inside zone. If there's anything you can do to turn your season around if you're chaos, it's get a win up against Problem. Current number one seed in Ultimate League. First and 10, Henry. That'll take us to the two minute warning. Chaos just Coming out of nowhere, 0-5. 0 for the season. I was calling him Klaus with that extra L in there. And he's come out firing. Hey, he might have motivated him. But I, I think this is also a testament to show how crazy the ultimate league can be. I mean, this is 16 of the best competitors in the world. There's not going to be any pushover games. Everybody here can play John Madden football at a high level. And you got to bring your A game, game in and game out. Yeah, we had some questions around chaos and tweez because the majority of their success was earlier in the year. But here, halfway through the season, maybe the lights have finally come on for chaos. And, and on top of getting your first win, remember each win is worth $1,000. So chaos for the first time all season earns himself an extra rack of roo. All right, let's so that's let's, not bad. Let's give them about 9:30, 9:34 for this win. We'll head down the street. We'll get him his own controller, <laughs> and then he can he can take it the rest of the way. If you just buy a brand new one, though, that it needs to be the controller for. You gotta work it in. Yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean. You gotta, you gotta be comfortable with it. You can't just go buy any controller and play with it for the guap. Well, that's pretty much what he's doing. He's he's at but the at he's, he's at the rent a controller. 
I've played with those controllers up there too. I haven't had any problems yet. Yeah, that's, those are the ones from the uh, the Xbox One S. Those yeah, white we ones. They're nice. The gauntlet mode. They're nice. We're having some fun in Gauntlet. I wonder if they got any footage of that. <laughs> Us and all the competitors seeing how far we could get. For those that don't know, that's a little mini game mode in the front end of Madden. Just having some fun. He's carried it for 150 yards, but he needs two Ooh, scores. Stick. Ooh, Ooh, careful. Boy, that's going to be close. It's going to depend on the spot. It's going to be third and inches. Start using those timeouts. Problem is going to, if he can score, going to come down to an onside kick. You need a quick score, and it, and they're right. You take the words out of my mouth. I'll just be quiet. Don't be quiet. Third and inches. Takes a sack, and that's been a story. Any time that he's dropped back to pass, Chaos has been right there with the pressure. I mean, it's that Joey Bosa just. Man, two and a half sacks. All, the, all kinds of havoc. What, what version of Bosa is that? Right. Look at my Chaos roster somewhere. Update in that Dubby game, he gets the victory 34 to 7 over Tweez. He does have the 94 overall team of the year. Joey Bosa. We would have showed you some highlights of that, but we had some water damage late in the fourth quarter between W and Tweez. 27 to 13. Explain to him what you mean by water damage. Hey, when the flood's rising. <laughs> When, when, when you, you got floodwaters heading up, you know, it's... When you get blown out in Madden Ugh. in our community, you know, you used to call it, yeah, you got skunked or whatever, but Madden lingo nowadays is, hey, you're going to get flooded, or you got flooded that game when yeah, you get when blown it, out. Just uncontrollable coming at you. So next time you're at home and you're playing your brother and you beat the brakes off him in a game of draw Madden football, he's going, bro, you just got flooded. Also, they need... Three and a half sacks now for Bosa. We could do a whole show on this Madden lingo. It's true. Maybe we could. Uh, well, what's going on here? This is this is this is dishes. This is okay. I don't know how to take that last kick, but it's over. Good sportsmanship. Problem with the disappointing loss. Twenty-seven to thirteen. Dubby. 34 to 7. Remember, it was 7 to 3 in that game. 31 answered for Dubby. Yeah, impressive performance by Dubby, but I think the story this round is it's gotta be happy for Chaos to finally get a win on the board. This is a young man in college full time, also doing what he loves to do, making some money playing John Madden football, gets his first win of the season, and I guess Eric probably right. So 34 to seven, Dubby with the big win and then problem 27 to 13 loss to Chaos. Let's go to Adrian Lawrence who's standing by with Chaos. Chaos, congratulations on your win. Hey man, you came in, kind of struggled a bit. One in five now, how's it feel? Uh, well, it feels good to get that monkey off my back. I uh, finally got a win under my belt. Um, that was definitely by far the best game I played. Um, I've been playing good defense the whole time, but my offense finally picked it up there. Um, so I just got to keep trying to get wins and see if I can fight to get uh, into the playoffs. And also, you didn't just beat nobody. You beat Problem and Goat. What's your thoughts on that? Uh, it's pretty cool to be able to say. Um, he's the best player of all time, and to be able to get a win like that is pretty cool. Now I just got to move on to the next one. And I know you play basketball at Coppin State. Mm -hmm. Do you want to say anything to your fellow teammates out there? Uh, just say what's up, to, what's up to my team, and I'll be back soon. Thanks so much and congrats again. Thank you. To you, Dave Enrico. Thank you, Adrian.